<laughs> Terry Child, you sound like literally the perfect woman for me. Um, what do you think about Otis Nixon, millionaire boxer? Um, you know, how tough is he really? <laughs> I mean, I guess we might find out because he said that he would kick my ass. But um, people reminded him that he got too much to lose, millionaires. So what he's going to do is send some homies. You know, uh, they was going to take care of me, real niggas. And he might come and piss on me after it was all done. And I'm like, this motherfucker must be the stupidest nigga in the book. He just gave his homeboys, like, premeditation and shit. You know what? And so, like, fearing for my life and shit, um, what should I do? Should I duct tape him and throw him in a tub and electrocute him and find out where Otis lives? Or should I just put a fucking reward on his feet saying, you know what? Uh, tell me where Otis lives. So if probably fucking black guys come to like do me harm and shit and they actually listen to this fool, you know, uh, what I'm going to do is just, you know, fuck him up and then pretend that I don't know where Otis lives and shit, electrocute him, and then fucking get the information, and then, you know what, kaboom, you know, have them come through the door, you know, <laughs> as a batting ram and shit, seriously, I mean, you know, I'm thinking, why the fuck not, homie, you know, uh, really, you know, um, it's like this, dog, you threaten me, <laughs> it's like, you know, threatening, kind of like my kids and shit because you know if it's not for me getting this fucking stevie shit famous my nigga uh you know what they're not gonna have they're not gonna have nothing okay and, and neither will any of their friends and shit you know what um so you're too fucking dumb thinking you big things and stuff i uh, know this dude okay uh the bums in my neighborhood i fucking hooked them up with fucking dollars and shit you know seriously out of my pocket and then you know cigarettes and you know a nug or two of weed and shit, you know, here and there. And you know what? They're my eyes and ears, my nigga, you know? Uh, I've heard from their mouths and shit, like, if anybody showed up, they would, like, notice and shit, you know? And so all I'm getting at, dude, is um, you better be fucking real smooth with who these people are, homie, because if somebody comes for me, I'm fucking coming for you. Guaranteed, okay? And I don't give a fuck who's in your house. If somebody comes for me, you know, um, put it like this. There's another guy, okay, that I have an issue with, and, uh, you know, he fucked up and talked all this shit and uh, figured out that I'm a little more connected than he fucking figured, and uh, he's in a motorcycle gang, okay, and basically, uh, you know, the people that fucking call the shots basically said that it was basically between me and him, you know, on this Harley thing, okay, you know, me saying that he's not a cowboy and he doesn't deserve that steel horse and that, you know what, um, <laughs> I mean, his little girl, whichever, you know, should ride it instead of him. Anyhow, um, yeah, it's like this, dog. You're going to put fucking, uh, you're going to put people at war and shit to, you know, handle what you couldn't do yourself? Seriously, this white boy will fuck you up, Otis. Uh, how fast were you, Otis? You know what? I tell you what, um, this is motivation for me, dog, okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start jogging and then, you know, I'm going to work in the sprints. I won't jog very much because it doesn't take very long to get back into, like, that shape and shit. And I've got explosive top-end, damn near Olympic sprinter speed, dude, okay? I've caught fast black guys on the, football, uh, on the football field from behind, my nigga, okay? How about you, all right? You know what? If a guy that was black and he was fast was ahead of you, would you track him down? Well, I did. I did it in high school. I did it against Steve Taylor, you know, middle of the field, and then track him down to the sidelines and shit. And, um... Let's see, I caught Alexander Hamilton from behind my sophomore year. That was like 83, 80, 82, 83, 84. Yeah, it was 82, 1982, Verbum Day. You know, uh, he's a black guy, probably with fucking more athletic ability than you. Just maybe a little smaller and shit, but probably faster. And he was in open field, and I caught his ass from behind. So you know what, dude? You know, I didn't play at Notre Dame. See me make the play, dude. It's a Buckus Award type play. Where the fuck were you at Texas A&M? Did you fucking actually even play? You know, uh, you played pro? Did you really? Where? In the fucking Toronto, you know? Fig said that I should go up to Canada and wreck that league. He said that I was better than every linebacker he played with at San Diego. See the play, okay? And then no one practiced. Dude, you know what, brother, nigga, uh, not ER, you know? Since I've been given the fucking A-OK -okay by a lot of people to use that word, okay? And, uh, you know, because I was called a brother trapped in white skin, 
because you have black on your skin means nothing to me athletically, okay? To me, uh, what do you fight at? 175 pounds? You're a small guy. In a street fight, I will fuck you up, dude. I was 24 and 1 my sophomore year in high school in wrestling, and uh, I won the El Cajon Invitational. And you know what? Uh, my junior year, I fucking was wrestling against uh, Scott Campion who took steroids and I was doing a switch it's like a sit out and he grabbed my fucking arm and pulled back or my hand and he fucking snapped the radio cap and shit and so like I couldn't move it and you know I couldn't wrestle that season and then my senior year uh, I wrestled one match and I pinned a guy in like 18 20 seconds okay and then I thought you know fuck this man wrestling isn't my fucking key you know to uh, fame rags and riches and shit you know uh football is, you know, and uh, I could have won the Buckus Award, my nigga, where were you, okay, talking shit, just because you're a fucking athlete that's boxing, but like this, dude, you know what, I'll fuck you up in a fight, seriously, in a street fight, I will fuck you up, Otis Nixon, seriously, okay, I'm a better athlete than you, I can take fucking far more damage than you, okay, see Bon Lapua, okay, you, what do you think you do against Bon Lapua, my nigga, okay, I say he breaks you the fuck up. And I say that if you don't fucking face me yourself, dude, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fucking continue to clown you because, you know what, I've got your words in print. You know what? Uh, yeah, in self-defense, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, okay, you know what? These two niggas over 